looking at yourself. <laughs> You're so strange. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to attempt to cook pho, chicken pho. Um, but this one will be eaten tomorrow. Hopefully it is edible, because I'm not sure if it's gonna be edible. Um, for dinner today, I actually have pork hamonado. So it's kind of like adobo, but not really, because I put some pineapple on it. I know a lot of people get, get weirded out if you put adobo on food or you cook a uh, pineapple but I'm actually trying this one for the first time that one too the uh, pork hominado and if it comes out really good then I'll probably show you guys how I do it but it's this one right now yep and then I put it on a medium medium heat medium low heat yep and right now i'm actually going to do the soup for um for the pho and i'm going to do the easy one first and eventually hopefully i get to do like how my husband makes it or how my mother-in-law makes it but for now i'm going to do the easy way so i got some chicken thighs over here i only use three chicken thighs it says on the recipe that i actually looked um to use breasts but I kind of like that thigh more the thigh part because it has more bones on it so I put it on this big what do you call this something I can't remember if I remember I'll put it on the screen a pot there you go I remembered what it's called I put it in this big pot over here and then I'm going to add eight cups of chicken broth so one of this is four cups already, so I'm gonna use two of these. I'm just gonna dump it all. Eight cups. I'm not doing a lot because there's only three of us. It's just me and my kids. So I am going. And then when we were in the States, we actually bought this one. This is for pho, and it's the, um, I have no idea what it is. Well, what it says, I can't read Vietnamese, but it says, it, it looks like it has star anise, some other herbs, and then we have um, a cinnamon stick over here. And it included a bag, so you don't have to strain it. So when you open it up, it looks like this. So it has all the herbs and spices inside. Like that, and so I'm just gonna dump that to close it good first. I'm just gonna dump that in, soak it under. It's kinda hot already. So as you guys can see, it's only in number four. And this is what it looks like. I hope I'm doing it right, hopefully, because pho is one of our favorite, favorite noodles to eat and it's rainy right now it's rainy season here in japan so masarap pag may sabaw ang pakainin mo and noodles my kids love noodles so hopefully it turns out good fingers crossed and then i'm gonna put this chopstick just like this because that's how we like to do our you know instead of covering it all the way i'm just gonna let it it's the right cover yeah that one and then maybe six, six hours, six hours over there. So right now it's already four o'clock. So we're just going to wait and see like around 10 o'clock. That's good because that's usually the time I sleep. So we'll see. I got to tell you guys, this rice cooker, this brand, Best investment ever. Just listen, okay? That one cooks for 60 minutes, or actually, it depends. It adjusts by itself, but most of the time, it does take 60 minutes. But your rice is so good, it's so fluffy, it cooks just right. Really, it's expensive. It's like, I think it was like $169, but 
the rice. I've never said this, but super set up. I'm gonna turn my meat around. Why? Because I want to. I want my meat to be really, really tender. So, I might have to eat a little bit later. Also, I just gave myself a bang. You like? I feel like it's more me. Because I've been looking at my pictures without the bangs. So I'm like, mm, there's something missing. So I gave myself a bangs a little bit only. I'm gonna wear it like this. I can wear it on the side like this. Or a little, you know, very Koreanish style. Like oh, it's already 5:15 after one and 15, one hour and 15 minutes. My pork hamonado is actually done. So, looks like that. It actually looks like adobo. But my meat is super tender. Ooh -hoo. It's been an hour already. Let's go check out my pho. Okay, still going strong. So if you guys can see my temperature, I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer. It's like on the number three. So it's like low. So this is what it looks like right now. Oh my god, I'm sorry for the background because this one. <laughs> I'm going to strain some of that because. So. Obviously, I can tell that my pho is not a real success because I think it's because I use a the Thai part. That's why it's a little dark like this. I don't know. Because you can tell from the chicken, this is a chicken thigh. I think it came from the bones. Those little thing over there it came from the bones and maybe I should have just removed should have removed this part or maybe I used the wrong part of the chicken and then I got fish sauce over here I added a little bit of fish sauce now I added a little bit of salt also I lit a little bit of my Pepe Bianco and then I added a little bit of sugar because dark brown sugar because that's what um that's what the recipe that I was following said. So yep, I'm gonna remove my bag. I totally forgot how that I need to remove the bag. Okay, so we got our meat over here. Chicken! Today is a day where we're... The day that we're gonna taste the soup. I am boiling some water to cook the noodles. noodles. And then I have the soup over here. What's wrong on the top? All the oil. Oh, no, it's gonna cook. Oh. Well, while this is cooking, we're gonna. While this is cooking, we are going to cut the noodles. Okay, so show us the noodle. This, this is, is the noodle. Uh, this is the noodle. It's a rice stick pho Thai bowl Vien. Wow. <laughs> is that how you really read that? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are too close. Hopefully it turns out really good. If it's good, I'm gonna try a little bit more. Maybe not use a um, chicken stock on it. I just 
use that one because that was the easiest recipe I've seen online. But I will definitely try it without using any chicken broth or chicken stock. So yep, we're gonna see the verdict. Also, I don't have any bean sprout. The kids doesn't really eat bean sprout anyway, so we're just gonna do basic chicken and the soup and then that's it. The hoisin sauce. Of course, you can't forget the hoisin sauce. Can I eat Oreo? What? I said, can I eat one Oreo? Okay, so noodles over here. This is for Katie. This is for Haley. I'm going to add some chicken. I think the soup is good. This is hot enough for Katie. So I'm going to... You know what I'm missing? I'm missing cilantro. This is the finished pho. Like it's really a basic pho because there's no bean sprout, there's no cilantro to go with it. But we have hoisin sauce. We well, they love to put hoisin sauce with their pho because it makes it a little sweeter. Um, you also have sriracha with here, but. I'm the only one who's gonna eat it with sriracha and I'm gonna eat sriracha with it tonight. Eve, Katie will try the soup first. Go ahead and try the soup. It's good. Mm, it tastes good. You sure? It was so fast. I feel like you didn't even taste it yet. Daddy's has like this much, and mommy's has like this much. I can't get my arm that high, so I, it's taller, but... So everybody can see your killy killy. <laughs> it's not a food vlog if there is no video of me eating what I cooked. So I'm actually going to taste it. Okay, um, I, just wish I, I just wish I have some bean sprout and some cilantro to put on top, but because I don't... And I'll just eat whatever I got. So this is what I'm eating right now. It is my pho, of course. I'm going to I'm going to try it out. Um, I think I bought the wrong noodle, but this is the only noodle that's uh, available at the commissary. Um, wait, let me fix you guys. There you go. So this is the only available noodle. Let me taste it. Hmm. But the the Chinese chili, the chili one. Oh well, I already put sriracha. The noodles are really thick. Man, I put my uh my soup was boiling earlier, but now I put it with the, my noodles and my chicken. Like it's not boiling hot anymore, and I really like it like super hot. It's not as good as pho from the States or a pho cut by Vietnamese. But this is definitely better than the pho that we ate at Yokohama. These noodles are thick. Like they're really thick. Earlier I said um, there was just a kick on it. So I added more sriracha. But now it's burning. Like my eyes are watery and my nose is running. Shrimp garlic rice, like fried rice. That sounds pretty good. Maybe I should try that one. So I like getting all my recipe on Facebook online. You know what? Whenever they show all this stuff, like what is her name? Marion, Buzzfeed, Tasty. I have so much stuff saved on my cell phone. But I just never tried it. Maybe I should and I will soon. <laughs> Hey, you need some sun. You're so pale. It's not my fault. It hasn't been sunny these few days. The fall we just ate is like delicious. It's like sweet and sour at the same time. So it was. It's not supposed to be sour. What are you talking about? It's like it has like a ring on it and we got like yummy. 
Like yeah. a ba but like Daddy's a perfect is still balance. good, right? Yeah, it's like a perfect balance of each flavor. But Daddy's still good, right? Mm -hmm. So it needs more work, but it's it's good enough, right? Yeah, it's like three quarters of Daddy's. Three quarters of Daddy's. Yeah. So out of five stars, how many stars? I say four and a half. I say but like 4.5, that's like almost perfect. And I know, I admit that it's not even close to perfect. Hi, it's good. I mean, it's good, good, but it's not super good. It's not perfect. Thank you for watching. Hope you subscribe.